Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Ross from 3G and today we are exploring the game of Minecraft, particularly my world. And tonight what we're looking at uh, to start is the very first build in my world, which is my house. And it was inspired you could say uh, by Frank Lloyd Wright um, kind of an homage to his styling and builds uh, as you can see from the exterior there's a lot of different materials mill used um, and it has a very distinct geometric shape um, what you're going to find from all of my subsequent videos um, for all of my buildings and structures within uh, my world they all have a very uh, geometric style uh, very geometric in shape uh, and that is mainly due in part to well the fact that Minecraft does not have round edges there are no round edges that you can get um, from uh, any of the inventory pieces that you can find or use so you're left to kind of create in this boxy like world Anyway, without further ado, let us continue into uh, my house so I can give you uh, the grand tour. Uh, pressure plated doors on the outside uh, lead in. Um, that's funny, that's normally a different picture. Uh, it looks like a microwave right now. Uh, what we're seeing, by the way, uh, we are looking at the um, city texture pack so if things look unfamiliar to you that may be why again pressure plate a door down a hallway um, all of the chests that you see in here are empty currently um, I'm mainly here for the purposes of building not so much a survivalist mode um, that exists um, but this room is completely lifted by a platform there is nothing underneath um, thought it added a little different uh, feel to it Actually, in this texture pack, you'll notice I'm going to try to get back downstairs. My guy is currently in floating mode. That's pretty damn cool. That's a jukebox, which looks right now like a really badass speaker and mixer on top with a flat screen TV in front of it. So that's really freaking cool. Um, I wish it could be like that all the time. Brad, when you see this, just screenshot that or something. Let's let's use that as a uh, and and we'll even um, yeah we'll we'll put me in front of it like this moonwalk holla whoop 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 all right enough fooling around anyway back upstairs oh that's cool too see it looks like a safe city texture pack is bomb. All right, so what you're looking at is what was originally designed to be a galley-style kitchen. Uh, however, without the um, ability to create kitchen utensils and kitchen compartments, um, all of these things are crafting and forging uh, tables and chests meant for uh, the Minecrafter uh, uh, who needs to be able to create material uh, outside of um, creative mode uh, meant for survival mode only uh, around here is what would be considered the main bedroom um, left with uh, a beautiful view of the outside and uh, what I call the sea or ocean although as soon as I say it's a beautiful view it turns into a rainy afternoon wonderful um, Let's go check out the next room. Uh, as you'll see, this room is designed to be a guest room. 
and does come with its own door and uh, wing that leads to another uh, house, um, which we will explore later. Let's head upstairs and out, even though it is raining. Um, as you can see, I, again, like the geometric shaping of everything, added a lot of skylight detail. Um, I like the idea of the natural light that exists in this world versus the torchlight, just because I think that the torchlight, they don't look anything like what you would find in houses today, and I'm a little more modernist than that in a lot of my builds. However, there are, as you can see from the background view, there are some rustic style things uh, where torches are um, relevant. Uh, because of the new addition of the wing, I was able to uh, get this nice, what I call a sun deck or um, lounging deck. And again, it's finished and garnished with um, a jungle leaf motif around the outside to appear as hedges. Uh, kind of gives it that creative flair. Off the back end here, you can see there is a lighthouse. And this door to the lighthouse is meant as an escape uh, from inside the house in survival mode. This door does not have, you, you can't get back out. These are iron doors uh, without a pressure plate on here. You're not going any place. It's meant as an exit only. You can go down the spiral staircase. And again, here's your pressure plate to get out. And you'll see you cannot get in from here so you can't sneak in through the back of my house you have to go in through the front uh, here's the escape route which leads around to the garden area or the green uh, with a gate we're going to close the gate behind us and then we are back out in front Again, just another quick little look from the outside, the hedge look. Um, hopefully you guys understand and get the uh, Frank Lloyd Wright reference in the build and house and styling. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the very first build, my, my house in, uh, in my world. And this is Ross signing off.